In order to understand how music affects us and how to use music to help those in our care, you need to know what music is and what makes up music. This week we will begin to learn about the basic elements of music. This might seem like a simple question. Of course we know what music is. How can we not? It is all around us any time we want it, and it's even there when we don't want it. But let's examine the question. The great Greek philosopher, writer, and educator Plato said that music gives soul to the universe. That's not necessarily a definition, but it informs our discussion. Plato's comment is a lofty one for a person who did not always have nice things to say about music and musicians. Thomas Campion, the 17th century English composer, poet, and physician, defined music as heaven. I wonder what he would have thought of pants on the ground. In his play Twelfth Night, William Shakespeare has the character Duke Orsino say, If music be the food of love, play on, give me excess of it, that surfeiting the appetite may sicken and so die. Orsino, pouting about a woman who will not return his ardor, looks to use music to cure his unrequited love, something like smoking until you are sick is supposed to cure you of the urge to smoke. Jeremy Collier, an 18th century English theater critic and theologian, thought music as dangerous as gunpowder. That might be, but for our purposes we might change that to say music is as beneficial as medicine. Heinrich Heine, the 19th century German journalist, essayist, literary critic, and one of the most significant German Romantic poets, thought music strange and almost a miracle. Not a definition necessarily, but an interesting thought. Suzanne Langer, 20th century philosopher of art, calls music our myth of the inner life. Hmm, a deep thought about what we thought would be a simple exercise. I particularly like the rock musician and avant-garde composer Frank Zappa's definition. For a man involved in music and film, his short definition almost gets to the point. For our purposes, let us say that whatever the philosophers and romantics say about music, it is first of all communication. The musician wants and needs to tell us something and uses music to convey it. We could also say that music is a metaphor for emotion. This will become important as we delve into the subject of music as a therapy to relieve pain and induce relaxation. One song that communicates emotion to me and to its composer is the song Ashokan Farewell, written in the latter 20th century and used in the Ken Burns PBS series on the Civil War. Pause this presentation, go to the class homepage, and under listenings, listen to Jay Unger talk about and play this haunting melody, a Shokan Farewell. Getting down to the nitty-gritty, let us all agree that music is sound. We will leave the lofty thoughts to the philosophers and get at what music is basically and how we will use it. But simple sound is not quite enough of a definition for us. Jackhammers and jets create sound, but I doubt we would categorize that as music for use as a therapy. Let us settle on this as our definition of music. Sound organized by one person for another person to hear. 
Well, that was a long road to get to a simple definition of the topic at hand.